Hello, this is Stuart Gordon. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm talking with you about Sam Peckinpah's first studio film, Ride the High Country, starring Joel McRae and Randolph Scott. I can really relate to this movie because it's about old guys who have outlived their usefulness. Uh, this is about these two cowboys who uh, are hired to bring some money uh, some gold from uh, the prospectors to the bank and both of them are kind of typical Peckinpah characters and the, the West that they have uh, thrived in is no longer there. In the very beginning of this movie we see Joel McRae riding into town and a, a police officer comes running up to him going, get out of the way, can't you see you're in the way old man? Something I've been dreading the, happening to me one of these days. These guys, uh, you know, uh, Joel McRae, when he's handed the contract, has to go into a room privately to read it. The reason being that he has to take out a pair of glasses with bifocals to be able to read the contract. His partner, Randolph Scott, uh, has gone sort of off, off to the uh, dark side, has become a con man. And, uh, you know, the question in this movie is, is he going to be trustworthy enough to help um, McRae get that gold? back to uh, the bank and at one point he tries to steal it and, uh, and this is typical Peckinpah type of uh, line he says hey you know this is the bank money not yours there's a very similar line in the Wild Bunch when uh, they talk about uh, you gave your word to a railroad it doesn't really matter Marriott Hartley refreshingly different with her red hair and freckles recklessly pitted one suitor against another looks like the girl he's been going down the mountain to see I'll say one thing, she's sure worth the trip. They get involved with a very young Marriott Hartley in this film. Actually, it's the film that introduced her to uh, audiences. She runs away from her father to get married to this minor, and it turns out that the minor's brothers on the wedding night all intend to have her. And it's a scene kind of out of sort of a precursor to Straw Dogs of, uh, that turns into a kind of gang rape of Marriott Hartley until she's rescued by the old guys. So this movie is a very, very rough western and it really becomes at the very end a shootout between the old guys and the young guys. And uh, it has some great actors. It has Edgar Buchanan, it has a very young Warren Oates, and uh, it's, uh, I think, one of Peckinpah's best films and one of my all-time favorites. <laughs>